So what do you think? Were the other specialists wrong? Were they too hasty? I'm afraid not. So you concur with their diagnosis? Ben has no remaining brain function? None. I'm sorry. Thank you, Dr. Farrell. You all right? No. I'm sorry. I thought if I sat here and talked to him and held his hand, then he would know. And he'd come back to me. Well, if he could have, he would have. He loved you. Everyone knew that. I loved him too. I still do. And now you're telling me that he's gone. Yes. I don't want it to be true. I want him to open his eyes and to say my name. But he's not going to, is he? So, it's a done deal on the horse. It is. And Maxwell's in on it. That was news to me. Oh, so anyway I could raise the money. I get a little jumpy when things start happening I don't know about. We well, you know now, so what's the problem? Oh, there isn't one. Unless I find out Maxwell gets paid before I do. If that happens, I'll tell the cops everything I know. Jane, I promised you the money and I'll deliver. I don't back out on deals. Especially ones with beautiful women. You better not. Because I'll be watching you. And Maxwell, you've been warned. Is something I'd rather... Hi. Are you Gemma Jensen? Yes. I'm Rachel McKenna. I'm Tara. I know who you are. Ursula's told me. And the answer is yes. I want a TV crew in the operating theatre. Can I ask why? Have you seen my before pictures? No. I was a super fat nobody. I wouldn't have even stuck with Flab Squad except people out there watching actually cared about me. Their support, it was unreal. It still is. I can't shut them out now. I owe them too much. So Ursula hasn't coerced you in any way? No. But I owe her too. What for? Well, look at me. She's changed my life. And she says this special could be a ratings jackpot, maybe even an award winner. I can't say no to that. Who could? I must have dozed off. No, oh, sorry to wake you. Um, I've only got a couple of minutes, but uh, I just wanted to tell you we did everything we could for Ben. Everything. I know. He was a great guy. Best. <laughs> Remember when we first got together and you found out about us? <laughs> you were so shocked. <laughs> I guess I didn't understand. Not then. But you do now? All Ben could think about when he came in was you. That's all he talked about. <laughs> he was talking. I thought he was knocked out the whole time. Often there's a delayed reaction with the brain trauma. He really loved you, Yvonne. I'm sure you already know that without me Maybe... having to tell you. There's a delayed reaction in waking up. People come out of comas all the time, don't they? After years and years. Ben's not in a coma. Oh, call it what you like. He might have a serious injury. He might just need more time. It's possible, isn't it? No, not after all the tests. Tests can be wrong. What if they're wrong? Oh, my darling Ben, what if they're wrong? Here's to point taken. May she continue to burn up the track. Point taken. Point taken. Back in the mop. Yep. <laughs> hey, Robert. You were good today, mate. The deal's done. Money's in the bank. I swear, offering to buy Mitchell was genius. He was gagging to sign. It was too easy.
a camera crew in theatre. Think about it. Gemma Jansen is the darling of the great unwashed. They were doing a special on it anyway, that's why the crew is available. By next week, your name will be all over the media. For what? Dealing with fasciitis? There's nothing special about that. No, but it's something. Well, for doing an apronectomy on a reality TV star. That's cosmetic work, Rachel. It's not who I am anymore. No, you're part of an elite surgical team that's being ignored out of existence. You need the exposure. And Callum's on board with this. I haven't told him yet. Ah. I thought if we presented a united front... Have you counted the ways this can go wrong? Anything can happen in an operating theatre. We'll have sign-off on all the footage. You can veto anything you don't like. We need to raise our profile, yes. But not like this. It's too risky for the patient, it puts too much pressure on the staff, and it's just plain tacky. I won't do it. <laughs> this time next week, you'll be counting your winnings. I'll clean up the safe and make some room. You do that, bro. <laughs> I learned something new today. Oh, you can trust your boss after all. No, that my boss is a complete idiot. Does the name Robbo ring a bell? Robbo? You met him today. Yeah, he tried to buy my shampoo taken. How do you know his name? Having good listening skills comes in handy. I heard Henry talking to him on the phone. Oh, he's probably giving him the bad news. They were laughing about how they suckered you in. Jane, whatever you heard, you heard wrong. Uh, I heard Henry say that offering to buy you out was sheer genius, that you couldn't sign up quick enough. It was all a ploy to get your money. That's not possible. Fifty grand down the drain. You've been held for a fool, Kieran. 